Hello, this is Luke Thomas again for the fourth and last podcast of this year dedicated to nail dermoscopy. You will have five other cases of, of nail disease examined with the dermoscope. Again, you will have the clinical image, the clinical history of the patient, some time to think, to think about the case, and then the comment uh, on the case. Let's start with our case number one. It's a male patient, 14 year old, and the lesion is present on his left uh, thumb for at least one year. It's stable, not too much changing over time. And you have some time to think about the uh, dermoscopy image. Let's comment this case. We have a brown color of the background indicating that there is some significant melanocytic hyperplasia in the nail matrix. And the lines are regular in the pattern. They are regular in their thickness, in their spacing, and in their color. Of course, the band is dark, but this only reflects the skin type of the patient and is not an argument in favor of malignancy. So we propose the diagnosis of a melanocytic nevus of the neon matrix. This patient remained under follow-up uh, for five years and the lesion didn't evolve during these five years, so we are very confident in the benignity of this lesion. Let's move to our second case. It's a female patient. The, she is 30 years old and she discovered this pigmentation of a second uh, left uh, fingernail after removing the nail lacquer. The lesion has been present for at least one year and uh, it probably grew over time but not very rapidly. You have the dermoscopic image and you have few seconds to think about it. Let us now comment on this case. We have a light brown color of the background, but I must say that the parallel lines observed on these uh, nail plate are not very uh, irregular and uh, nothing by uh, the dermoscopic examination of the nail plate is enough to propose the diagnosis of melanoma. But we see this pigmentation on the cuticle, also known as a micro Hutchinson sign, and this is enough to consider the diagnosis of melanoma. On the basis of this finding, we propose to this patient to be submitted to biopsy, and the biopsy confirmed the diagnosis of a very early case of melanoma, equal antigenous type, Clark's level 2, Breslow's index was 0.15 millimeters, and this patient was treated with conservative surgery of the finger. She is now in complete remission after four years. Let's move to our third case. It's a male patient, 60 year old. He progressively saw this melanonychia striata enlarging along the nail plate of his right thumb. This patient is right-handed, so it's very important to make an accurate diagnosis. This is the dermoscopic image and you can analyze this image for a few seconds. Let's comment on this case. It's a little easier than the previous one. We have a brown color of the background indicating that there is significant melanocytic hyperplasia in the nail matrix and the pattern of the lines is very irregular, irregular in their coloration, spacing, 
thickness. So this is an irregular pattern. It's already in favor of a melanoma. But looking at the cuticle, we see also the presence of a micro Hutchinson sign, which is also a good sign in favor of a melanoma. We proposed to this patient to be submitted to biopsy. And the biopsy revealed the diagnosis of melanoma, very early type also, ALM type, Clark's level 2, breast length index was 0.18 millimeters. This patient was offered a conservative treatment of the right thumb, which is very important in terms of avoiding disability, and is now in complete remission after three years. Let's move to our fourth case. It's a female patient. She is 60 years old. She is dark skin, skin type 5. And this is a right hand. She's right handed. And the vast majority of the nail pigmentation that is polydactylic in this patient is observed on the right hand. This is the demoscopic image of the second finger. And this is the demoscopic image of the third finger of the right hand. You have a few seconds to examine these images. Let's now comment this case. We see that the disease is polydactylic and not only the right hand is involved, but at least two fingers are involved in this picture. We see also that the pigmentation is yellowish or grayish, and this is in favor of a non-prominent melanocytic hyperplasia in the nail matrix. Knowing that the patient is of a dark skin type, everything is in favor of an ethnic type pigmentation. And then we move to our fifth case. It's a female patient, 40 year old. It's a difficult case. This is the clinical image and the patient went to our clinic because the lesion was somewhat painful. This is the dermoscopy of the nail plate. And I must say that not much information can be given by this image. But looking at the dermoscopy of the free edge is showing this image and you have a few seconds to think about it. Let's comment on this case. Dermoscopy of the nail plate shows no involvement of the distal matrix. The lunula region is free of any change and we observe only an aspecific distal onycholysis, meaning that the nail plate is detached from the nail bed, and this is not specific. But looking at the free edge of the nail, we observe this hyperkeratosis that is localized, and uh, some purpura is also present in this hyperkeratosis. Indeed, this image is not specific, and we could observe this image in many conditions, such as a viral wart, just such as a Bowen's disease or squamous cell carcinoma. But including squamous cell carcinoma in our differential diagnosis led us to propose a surgical exploration of the nail bed in this patient. And we finally made the diagnosis of a squamous cell carcinoma of the nail bed. This is the per surgical image, and you can see that the image um, and that lesion is only located on the nail bed, and that the nail matrix, the whitish part of, of uh, the uh, area underneath the nail plate that is shown by the arrow, is not involved. And for that reason, we could offer to this patient not only conservative treatment of a finger, but also conservative treatment of a nail. She has been treated by the excision of the lesion, and she's now in complete remission 
after three years. I thank you all for your attention. Goodbye.